All right, so Kayla Harrison just went out there and got her second win in MMA. She went out there and finished, TKO finish over Josette Cotton in the third round. You know, in my opinion, it was early stoppage. But the thing is, Josette Cotton really wasn't bringing much to the table. It looked like maybe her nose was broken. So I can kind of see that stoppage being all right but it did feel a little bit early I think that if she was a little bit more competitive in the fight people would have been screaming this was an early stoppage you know this is horrible it's an early stoppage yada yada but it was a pretty interesting fight it it was definitely watching an amateur a a person who hadn't fought MMA a lot fight so in the first round, Kayla Harrison and Jose Cotton, they both came out there actually tentative, very tentative. They were filling each other out. You know, they were truly filling each other out. Yeah, Harrison seemed like she was a little bit more aggressive. She was throwing the leg kicks. She was throwing the classic ATT low leg kick, you know, and she was landing it. And I think it was, um, I don't know if it was hurting Josette Cotton. Josette Cotton seemed to be extremely durable, really seemed to be very, very durable. But um. Josette Cotton just couldn't get her offense off. She really couldn't get her offense off. She was kind of moving around. And look, I don't care what anybody says. She was overweight. All of that, that feeling that you have, like feeling your body jiggling around you when you're in a fight, all of that weighs you down and it slows you down. And she needed to be a little bit more nimble and a little bit more light on her feet for 155. You know, it's a heavy weight class. You want to try to be as light as possible. Anyways, she didn't really move much. She couldn't really get her offense off. That's the basically the thing. She didn't let her hands go. She really didn't let her hands go. I thought that she was going to be testing Kayla's chin, but she really didn't test it that much. You know, she was able to get out of that arm bar at the end of the first round. You know, Kayla Harrison, Kayla Harrison likes going for that arm bar. There's something about these judo practitioners. They love a good arm bar, man, because she had mount. She could have finished the fight by TKO in mount. All she had to do was keep raining down shots, but she decided to go for the arm bar. And it was arm bar in a strange, strange position because she was so close to the fence. Um, and then immediately Joe, Jose Cotton was expecting it. Anybody would be expecting it. So Jose Cotton um, defended it properly. You know, she rolled into her, just kept rolling into her. So. You know, that the the bell rang and she couldn't really get her submission off. So went into the second round, second round, a a, a lot more of the same, except for, okay. one thing I forgot about in the first round In the first round, Kayla Harrison got a very clean double leg takedown. She never fell into guard in the first round. Now, in the second round, Josette Cotton slipped or something happened. And then Kayla Harrison ended up in her guard. And it was like the most boring fight you had ever seen in your life at that point. Kayla was, or you could just see her learning, trying to figure it out, trying to put the pieces together. The second round was definitely, she was trying to put the pieces together. She um, was really just throwing some strange strikes out of guard when she should have been stacking the girl. She should have been stacking Josette Cotton so that she could rain down her whole body weight on top of her and just make her work because Josette Cotton wasn't working. She was able to just stay on her back and basically just chill. And she also was clipping her up from the bottom. Josette was clipping up Kayla from the bottom. But obviously those shots from the bottom aren't going to hurt that much, but she definitely was tagging her. In my opinion, that round to me was kind of like a Everybody kind of took that round off. But in the third round, it it turned back on again. Everything kind of piped back up. Kayla Harrison got another good, very slick, clean double leg takedown. She got the takedown and she went knee on belly. And then for some reason, she went into half guard. I was just like, don't go into half guard because this girl is her guard is really tight. Like she holds on to it because that's where she likes to hang out to take a breather, you know, kick back. But Kayla Harrison was able to get out of half guard, half guard and go straight into mount, you know, and from there she was just clocking her boop, 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 just piecing her up. Don't get me wrong. Josette was still kind of getting shots off from the bottom, but she just pieced her up in mount. And then I'm trying to think she went. I can't remember if she went for the. Yeah, she tried to go for the arm bar. Of course, Josette Cotton um, defended it properly. You know, it's just that arm bar thing. It's like, just stay in mount and TKO the girl. Dad, TKO the girl. Anyways, she ended up getting getting um back on top, 
not necessarily a mount necessarily, but she was just raining down shots. I think Josette Cotton was tired more so than her. And I think she was tired, even though it kind of made, it looks like she did break her nose as, as well, but Josette Cotton wasn't, I don't feel like she was out. I thought it maybe was an early stoppage. In my opinion, I thought it was a bit of an early stoppage, but at the end, I did kind of go for it. One of the commenters, um, uh, uh, Michael Myers sis she came out and she kind of was like hey man I think it's gonna be Josette Cotton's cardio you know I want to see how that cardio holds up well we just saw it you know we just saw it it just it let her down both girls were tired in the round two but Kayla was able to go back to that bench take a couple of power puffs and just go into super saiyan mode basically she went into super saiyan mode she didn't seem tired coming into the third round but you know, Jose just needs to. She took this fight on, on short notice. We all appreciated that she took this fight on short notice and that she wasn't down about the whole tough thing. You know, sometimes you got to stay on your bike. You got to stay on your horse. And also the uh, the the broadcast team, you know, Boss and Couture and all these guys, they um. They seem to appreciate Jose Cotton's performance. And I hope that that means that they're going to have her back for when women are in the PFL tournament. Who knows? Who knows? You know, Jose keeps on working. Keep getting in shape. Strength and conditioning is your friend. It needs to be your best friend. Strength and conditioning. Anyways, shout out to Kayla Harrison. This was a great fight. I'm so sleepy at the moment, but this was a great fight to just sort of cap the night off with. Shout out to Kayla Harrison. I'm surprised that she took such a difficult fight with such a, a you know, an aggressive opponent. Harris, um, Jose Cotton really didn't get a full camp, get a chance to get a full camp in. But, you know, it is what it is at this point. You know, it is what it is. You, We all know that they're riding high on Kayla Harrison right now, but I'm not gassing her up or anything. But I really do think that she could be really good for the sport of MMA, of women's MMA. And I can also see her having a lot of, of success in this sport so anyways guys hit that like button hit the subscribe button leave all of your thoughts in the comment section let me know how you guys felt about the fight and also man the videos are out here share them like them and tell a friend to tell a friend